Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK where great barbecue doesn't have to cost a fortune. Today we've got a quick and easy dessert ready for your summer evenings and we're going to be cooking rhubarb on the grill. So yeah that's right, today we're cooking rhubarb on the Weber kettle. So it's a nice simple cook, these take under 10 minutes to cook and the grill really does give them a wonderful flavour, much better than stewing them indoors. And it's nice and simple, easy to prep. You can prep in advance. And then, as I say, a 10 minute cook. After every, you've sat down, you've done your entertaining, you can pop back to the grill, open your vents back up because you don't want a massively high temperature with this cook and give yourself and everybody else a wonderful pudding. So to start off with, I've already got my rhubarb chopped up, but if you've got stems of rhubarb, then you can chop them up into about an inch and a half length pieces. These make a nice uh, mouthful per uh, length. So chop them up, get them into a bowl, Tupperware pot, whatever you've got, and you want to go in with a small amount of olive oil and give them a good mix. We just want a small amount of oil on there. One, it's going to help uh, the next things that we're putting into this stick, and two, it's going to stop them from sticking to the grill when we're cooking them. So once we've given them a nice toss through in that oil, we're going on with a heaped teaspoon of brown sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, leave it out. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's not going to be as good, but if you don't like cinnamon, you're not going to like it anyway. So leave the cinnamon out if you don't like it. So we're just going to mix them, that sugar and that cinnamon through. So we've got a nice coating on each one of the uh, pieces of rhubarb. And a Weber kettle, you want setting up for around anywhere between 150 and about 170, 180 degrees C, direct grilling. So as I say, this is ideal when you've already done your cooking before and then you've got your, your Weber is still warm afterwards and you can just go back to it and cook this dessert so we just take these stems and put them on now the way that i've put these first row on this is how you don't want to put them on the grill you do not want them sitting lengthways in the bars you want them like this turned the other way if the lengthways between the bars when they soften up they soften up and just fall straight through so you want to be turning them around so you've got the bar going one way and the rhubarb going the other so we've got them all on, get the lid shut, leave them for about two minutes. Now you are going to start to smell them sugars caramelising down and you can think, oh my god, they're burning. If you've not got that grill too hot, if you've got them temperatures right, you are going to be fine. Because you want a small amount of char, what we don't want is burn. So after two minutes, we open the lid back up and we start to roll them. So you can pick them up and turn them if you want to, but they roll quite easily and you roll them over to the opposite side and as you can see you're starting to get a little bit of colour start shut the lid again leave them for another two minutes go back roll them again keep rolling them until you've got a nice colour until they start to split or they go incredibly soft now you'll notice the difference when they've really softened down and when they start to split so this took a total for me of around eight minutes. So it's not very long. You still have your beer in hand. You're still talking to your mates and you're making them a wicked dessert. So at this point when they've split and they've really softened down and they've got a really nice caramelization around them, that is when we take them off, get them onto a dish and leave them there for a minute or two because they are so hot, all of them sugars in there. If you chuck that, straight into your mouth or onto some ice cream. One, you have no ice cream left because it's just going to melt it and have a big slushy puddle of ice cream in the bottom. Put it straight in your mouth, you're going to burn your tongue. So let them chill out for a couple of minutes. Once they've chilled out, get them onto your, into your bowl so you can serve it as it is. You can put a little piece of maple syrup on the top if you want to. I like to add them to a, a bowl of ice cream. So just got some little bowls, a little bit of ice cream in there and just put the rhubarb on the top it's still going to be warm, so that ice cream is going to start to melt and mingle all them flavours together. And that is what makes this dessert so good. 
So I can't wait to give it a 